Sooner or later, you're going to come up against the term responsive web design. And sooner or later, your website is going to look pretty silly on smaller size devices. So if we just look at the layout that we've got here with our 12 column grid, it looks fine on desktop. It will stretch out fully and it'll look okay. However, on smaller mobile devices, that's not going to be the case. Right click in Chrome and choose inspect. When the inspector comes up, it looks a bit odd at first. It might even be docked to the side or to the bottom. But just click on this option here, which is toggle the device toolbar. And this gives us the responsive view. If we were to look at this on say a Galaxy, actually let's look at an iPad first of all, an iPad Pro. Yeah, okay, it still looks okay there on the iPad Pro. We can switch it from one way to another. Let's go down to iPad. Yeah, it's beginning to get a little bit small. Even here, we're just beginning to get to the point where the word column won't even fit inside that column. So obviously if we get down smaller to a smaller size phone and the, in order for it to get the word column in, it has to shrink the size of the page down, which is not a good look because that now becomes completely unreadable. So it's not good. This is where we need to redesign our page so that it's flexible under those different sizes. And so what we often do is design the website to be mobile first. The reason behind that is generally just for speed. It will load faster on mobile devices. However, there are pros and cons with that. If all of your visitors visiting your site are always coming via desktop, then that would be stupid. There would be no reason to create a mobile first site in that case. You could put mobile last. Mm -hmm. With all of these rules, you have to use common sense. And if your audience views your website on specific devices, it's up to you to make your website best optimized for those devices. And only you looking at your analytics can be the decider on that and can give the best insight.